Good morning, girls and boys. I have sad news and I have extremely happy news. So which do you want first? You're not saying anything. Okay, so sad, sad news comes first. So last week, Caleb and I were emailing back and forth and Caleb in grade four said I should name this little bunny that was in my yard Yosemite. So I've been looking and looking. Sorry. I have needs. No Yosemite. But I see the hawk a lot. So you know what I'm thinking, right? Food chain. Food chain. As my niece in kindergarten says. So that's one bit of sad news. But you never know, right? Could be somewhere. Second thing. Also about food chain. And a bird. Walking through the yard, I see this little egg on the ground. I wasn't sure if it was an egg or a rock. And I've been really trying to keep our yard tidy because we were hoping someone would buy our house, right? So I went to, I thought I'll just kick this pebble out of the way, whatever it was, blew there when we had that bad storm. Here it was an egg. It was not developed, pretty sure it was a sparrow egg. So when I kicked it, the shell cracked open and you could see that it was part of a developing bird, so I felt bad. But I actually didn't pick it up because I thought, okay, I'll just leave it there because you know what? Another bird will eat it. And that's giving giving food to something else, right? That bird would not have developed. It had been out of its nest. So I was telling my mom about it. My mom probably said a bigger bird, which we have a lot of in our yard, like especially magpies. <clears throat> something bigger probably took it out of its nest and for some reason dropped it so that's some other sad news okay here's funny news before i get to the happy news so mr sander um bought a new pump for our pond so it pumps the water up kind of up a little tube in the ground and then whoosh it comes down like a little waterfall so we had one frog move in yesterday we had another frog move in. I think those those frogs are uh, big, big buddies now, hey? So, needless to say, yesterday morning at 5 a.m. Re, re, re. I'm not kidding. This went on most of the day. Until then I heard re, and then I answered re, re, re. That's how I knew somebody else moved in. Then I went outside and I could hear, yeah, they're coming from two totally different directions. So, yes, two frogs. So I had a plant on my deck, or a planter, with no plants in it, just some tiny little pebbles. So I'd go out on the deck, take a little pebble, throw it in the pond. They'd stop croaking maybe a minute or two. Come back in the house, sit at my kitchen table, and start croaking again. Yeah, I know. This went on, oh my gosh. You guys, I was in my closet, my bedroom closet last night, okay? And I was getting my PJs on. I could hear the frogs croaking when I was getting dressed after having a shower. In the house, windows all closed, everything. But you know what? It's kind of funny. Um, now, this morning, I don't know if they're sleeping. I don't know if frogs croak 24 hours a day. But I think I want to do some research on frogs. And maybe you could do some research on frogs. And then you can email me or leave me a comment and tell me what's going on here. Okay? So, hmm. That's the sad news. That was the funny news. Now, here's the happy news. Yeah, are you sitting? I hope you're sitting. Last night, somebody came and they bought our house, finally. Yeah, we've been waiting a long time, half a year, boys and girls. It's a long time to be patient for something, isn't it? But it's finally happened. And you know what? They, when they made their offer, they said they want all of the fun things in the backyard. That was one of the first things they said, like the playhouse. They for sure want... Bianca's Playhouse and all the garden planters and that. So um, I think that's pretty exciting. So 
we don't know exactly at what day we're moving. Now we have to do something called get our financing all finalized and then we'll sign those papers, right? You maybe have heard your parents talking before about mortgage payments, right? Um, or, or some of you are paying rent, right? Some of you aren't, aren't um, homeowners, right? You're still renting. Mr. Sander and I used to rent too before, right? When we first got married. So, um, just thinking what else I have to tell you. I told you the sad news, the funny news. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yesterday, this was so cute. It's also some nice news. I was doing some weeding because even though we're moving, you know, we can't, can't not take care of your yard. That's not being respectful of your property, right? So you have to take care of things. So I was out in the garden weeding and I bent down as something blue caught my eye and it was an eggshell from a beautiful, um, it must have been a robin's egg, hey? So it was very, very pretty. So I have some challenges for you today. Um, first of all, if you could research do some research on frogs, okay? Maybe you would let me know about this whole croaking thing if it was just two frogs trying to, you know, drive Mrs. Sander nuts. Mm, no surprise there. The funny thing is though, I absolutely love frogs. Um, I love listening to them croak, just not like 24 hours a day, okay? Yeah, I could listen to it all day, but when I'm sleeping, no. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Okay, so that was one thing. Um, and second thing, um, if you're in Miss Chang's class, you need to contact her. Or if you were a student in Miss Chang's, it's her birthday today. I have no idea how old she is, but I'm going to say, I'm going to guess, I'm going to say maybe, I bet, I'm going to guess 27. Yeah, that's going to be my guess. Yeah, because I think I'm old enough to be her mom. Um. I'm not lying either. That that's not a joke. <laughs> Mrs. Sanders has been teaching a long time. Um, so happy birthday to Miss Chang. Um, and oh gosh, I had something else to tell you guys. You know, I hate when this happens to me. Oh, I know what it was. Sad news. Sad news for me and Rosemary. You know those beans we planted? None of my beans have sprouted. Not a one. Contacted Rosemary's mom last night. She said Rosemary's hasn't sprouted either, but her little brother um, Yannick's did. So sometimes you buy seed and it's not that good. So I'm a little disappointed in that. Anyways, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow um, and hopefully I'll uh, be able to give you some more uh, information about the whole frog saga. Okay, bye. I love you guys.